Hey guys, so I wanted to do a um, kind of how it fits video um, since I can't seem to find one online for the uh, Meeple Realty uh, Role Players Guild Hall uh, insert. Let me see if I can, I can. Yeah, it's backwards, but you know what I mean. Um, so I'm pretty much just. Uh, filming myself trying to figure out where everything goes. I already built the inserts, everything's ready to go, I divided up the cards, so uh, hopefully this isn't a train wreck. <laughs> Alright, so let's see, first we got the um, this card holder, it says, I know it might be too bright for it all, but it says market for the first dots, market for the two dot ones, and then clash, class initiative slash backstory. Um, I'll do a separate video, um, you know, with my experiences on both this insert and the grizzled insert. Uh, so right now it's just about putting it in. All right, so market one, let's see that. Right, yeah, market, and this should be the expansion, so. Do it like this. And I'm using uh, Fantasy Flight uh, sleeves. These use the uh, standard ones. Okay, and then mark it two. Okay. It's good with space to spare. Okay, clash and initiative and backstory. So let's do uh, backstory first. Oof, I know I'll have to do initiative. And these are fitting kind of snug. Yeah, these are snug. These are really snug. Okay, but I don't think there's a lot less uh, initiative cards, so it shouldn't be a problem. There we go. That's how that is. So that's done. Okay, next we'll do the uh, little coin tray. It came with the uh, screws. Really simple. Um, I I thought this was going to be a lot more complicated, and it's. It wasn't. If you've done a broken token insert or any other company insert like Go Ghost Island Gaming, uh, you won't have a problem. I do have the metal coins. That's uh, what this is solely. And then um, it even comes with a lock. Lock it up. And it comes with. Uh, man, my lighting is not working with me. There you go. Thunderworks Gaming. Okay. Or Thunderworks games. My mistake. Okay, next let's do the minions. So then I got the ones, one dot ones. Just go ahead. Put them in there. And the two dots. There and then I still need to buy uh, tar tarot card sleeves for the um, boss for the boss cards. So and they just that goes in that one. So there you go, and that's for the minions. Okay. Next up, this will do. This one. Um, actually, for the play sequence, it doesn't really say where to put them, so I think I'll put them with the initiative and these these right here. What? Um, I haven't played the game yet, so uh, excuse me if I say these cards or those cards. Um, I'm not too familiar with what they're called, the terminology. 
Okay. okay, so oh wait, we were working on this. Um, okay, so this is a card tray. Um, says cost summary and alignment, and then you have your uh, little LOA cards. So we're gonna do cost summary and alignment first, and the cost summary are these little helpful player aids. Oops, sorry. And the uh, alignment cards, they have it in the back, and that's where, you know, whether you're trying to be uh, lawfully good or whatnot. Okay. So these go right in there. Okay. And then we've got Chimera. Or, you know what, I'm probably gonna have to do Let me see, these are attack. Yeah, okay. So these I I did have the foresight of organizing beforehand. So I got the dragons first. Uh, we got the giant trolls. I know you guys uh, didn't like the music in my uh, uh, unboxing video. I apologize about that, but I finally figured out how to turn it off. So uh, the next thing is to make sure it's not, um, you know, you guys are seeing it not up, not upside down, but backwards, you know, like a mirror or whatever. But I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay, cracking. Um, like I said before, I'm trying to use my, um, PlayStation camera, so, Chimera, okay, And there you have it. And then also these are fantasy fight sleeves. Okay. So next we've got these little trays. Uh, I guess we'll do this one first. This one is for the battle dice and for the um, battle dice and life point trackers. And I can only assume these little one, these little blue. Translucent cubes are the life point trackers. So let's make sure they're flat and flush. And we've got our battle dice. Okay, let's see if we put those on the floor. I'll pick those up later. I was really worried about these. I thought they were gonna have to be put in the um, dice bag. I was like, well, that's not very intuitive, but you no, know, they, they thought of everything. So, really happy so far how everything seems to be um, separated. Okay. Okay, so there's that. Well, then this goes on top of this, like so, like that. And then um, all these little plastic tokens, not not plastic, but cardboard tokens, like your, uh, I believe they're called charisma points or discounts, and they're uh, minus ones. That's all going to go in here. And they do have markings for these, so it shouldn't be too confusing.
This is meant to hold uh, both the base game and the expansion, like any other good insert. Okay, now we got the crowns next. No riveting stuff here, but and then also sorry for the lack of uh, board game content. Um, school's been kicking my butt this semester, taking world literature. Red Heart of Darkness. That was a really good book. Okay, and then we got the minus ones. I wouldn't say I have OCD, but I do like things to be a certain way, so... Okay, there we go. And then, uh, oh. And then I know these are player cubes. And I can't find anywhere else um, to put these, except right here, in this little open area. Um, that's the only thing I gotta say about uh, the insert. I know I've contacted customer service, um, you know, a couple of times, and they were really helpful uh, whenever I did, you know, get a hold of them. So, but I didn't see anything about how to organize the insert, but I guess everything's self-explanatory. Uh, okay, so then this, these two pieces, the top and the lid, are not meant to be glued on. So, let's try that. Okay, first this part. First the door, and the roof just slides on, and then your first player token fits in to this little slot right there. That works perfect. There you go. Yep. Yeah, that works really good. Okay. Home stretch. Okay, I don't need these bags. Okay. Right here, okay, and then uh, just we're gonna put all the dice in these two sets of dice ah, come in the um, expansion. Um, I was thinking about keeping them separated because I'm probably gonna play the base game uh, a couple of times. Ah, I'm just spilling everything, okay. But um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put everything in the dice bag. I'll just have to uh, remember to take out... Where should I? Okay. 
and then let's get the box. Now I really had wish Thunderworks Games um, had made the expansion box as big as the original box because I love this artwork. <sighs> That's just metal right there. But oh well. It's probably gonna have to go in the trash. Okay, so um the insert does give you uh, uh, a picture of how everything's supposed to go. And there is a video on uh, um, Meeple Realty's uh, YouTube page that shows you how to do this. So I'm going to try and do that by memory. Uh, I'm going to remember it should be like this. And that goes in. Right there, we got the card tray, and I'm putting it long ways, okay? So there's the card tray, and then we got the money, and the money box, and then all the tokens right here, and then we got... Let me turn it around for you guys. Got both the minions um, card holder and the uh, other card holder right here. little paper things. Sorry, I don't know what they're called. I do not have a background in D&D or play those kinds of games, so I have no idea. But this game seemed very fun. My wife's my wife's a fan of the uh, fantasy theme, so I thought this would be cool to get. Okay. So then the player boards go on top. So again, let's go. Let's go over it one more time. We, you got the uh, marketplace and uh, various other card card holder right here. Token tokens right here. Coin box right here. Minion card holder and then um, the other card holder. Okay. And then you put player boards right on top and they said the dice bag you kind of just gotta shake it make sure everything kind of fits evenly in the dice bag so it's supposed to go on top more or less uh, I remember him folding it, kind of, sort of. I'm just doing this fast for you guys. You guys get the gist of it. And the uh, roll books on top. Okay, I know this will fit flush because in his video it fit flush. And it does. There you go. Okay, so that was Role Player, the insert Role Player. The uh, oh, well, Meeple Realty Role Role Players Guild Hall insert. Um, really simple to build. Um, I got it off of actually Thunderworks Games website. Um, so any questions? Um, you know, don't don't be a stranger. Comment and I'll answer back. And as always, guys, um, let me know what I can improve on. And 
I'll leave you with. Oh, you get. All right, bye guys.